Hey everybody, welcome back to Nems Plays EU4. I'm your host Nems of Burkru Studios, and we are back in our Milan the Ambrosian Republic campaign. Where? It's been a minute. I did some traveling, and um, things are happening. Hold on. Um, yeah, I did some traveling, so I was out for a bit, so i uh going to have to take a minute to kind of get my bearings back. We are at peace, thankfully. Uh, let's check where we're at from a tech perspective. It looks like we are... We're ahead on admin and military. And our current ideas are military. So we're going to keep either a military candidate or this guy. Uh, no, we'll just do a new military guy. Get a little bit more of our uh, stuff back. Save that for a really, really good guy. Got tons of money. We can build some stuff. Um... That would be decent. Workshops less so. Though the Luka one's not too bad. Or Luka, sorry. Alright, so uh, ship durability plus 10%. I'm not sure that's a, a big deal that I care about. Uh, what else? What else? Land force limit's always a good thing. We just don't have a lot of building slots left, so I want to be a little more cautious. Uh, from a aggressive expansion perspective, how are we doing here? Um, we seem to be okay-ish. Not great. So, we could go after Modena. They are allied to France. Poland is still an issue. So, if we go to war with Venice, who would we get? We'd be fighting Poland the Knights, we'd get Savoy, and that's it. And that's a problem. Bohemia's in debt. Uh, I could resolve that personally. That wouldn't be a huge deal. Uh, Bohemia's got 29,000 guys. I really almost need, like, a, a France or a, um, or a, a Spain, though. Hmm. Well, we'll think about it. We'll think about it. In the meantime, uh, let's take a look. We can make a state. We can make Corsica state. Will that be good for us financially? It's okay for us financially. So we'll do that. Coffee boom. Good things for those guys. Uh, Pope, how are you? You're not really... They'd get all their allies and we just get Savoy. Hmm. Mm-hmm. We've got what? Thirty-four thousand troops. I feel like we could take them. I feel like we could do that. Castile would not join us though. Uh it would destabilize them. Oh, Hungary just put a claim on Venice. That's alarming. So, my big problem right now is I just don't think I can take on uh, the Brandenburg-Lithuania monster. Um, let's see. Hmm. Sure. Um, can we call the... Yeah, we can. Alright, so we took care of that. Uh, we'll go ahead and grant Monopoly Charters. We'll go ahead and seek their support. Make everybody happy. Uh, because we're going to abuse them probably for, uh, you know, uh, points later. So, what do I want to do? I'm way ahead on military tech, so manpower recovery speed sounds good. Um, hmm. I do have force limit available. So why don't I do that? Let's get all of you back from Corsica. At least for now. 
Uh, what do we got here? 877. Yeah, we need to combine and split these armies up. They're all kinds of messed up. Once I do that, I'll recruit my extra units that are available. Alright. Alright, so the Pope Man is probably what we're going to do next. Um, I could take Ancona, which would keep me in the node that I want to be in. I'd kind of like to clean up the border gore with Modena, but not wanting to fight France right now. I really want to fight Venice. Let's take a look at Poland-Lithuania. Before we make any choices, let's at least double check and see. Lithuania has 39,000 troops. Poland, 32. So 71,000 troops between the two of them. That's not insignificant. We would have a decent amount, but we would really need that that other ally to jump in, or it's just not going to work out. Just not going to do it. Yeah, we need somebody. I mean, outside of Savoy and Bohemia. Let me check their tech level, though. So we're tech 11, their tech's 10 and 11. Yeah, just not a big enough difference right now. I think it's got to be the Pope. Liege, Portugal, Dismarkin, and Mines uh, against me and Savoy. How many favors do we have with Bohemia? Alright, so I'm going to take on your debt. And then... Oh, now Savoy won't join? Oh, they're in another war. Who are you fighting? Oh boy, this doesn't look good. So the Savoyard Conquest of Bern. Oh, they brought in France. Why didn't you call me in, bro? I would have helped. Well, I have a, I have a truce with them. That's why. How long is my truce with them? 15... Yeah, a long time from now. Alright, so it could just be Pope versus... I think Bohemia is enough. I really do. Before we do that, though, uh, let's do a few things. Let's get the armies together and let's organize and add so that we're at max uh, our maximum force limit. We will split that in half. Sends you over to Ferrara. And we're probably just going to add some infantry. What's my force limit? 38, okay. So, we'll add one more there, and then I'll split that. Let's throw one of you over here. Alright, and then once we get that done, we'll just go ahead and... Where did your army go, Pope Man? Okie dokie. And then I probably need a military leader. We'll go ahead and make our ruler a leader. Five shock leader, apparently. Holy crap. That's a butamus. Alright, so we got one more troop being made. There he is. And then we'll put you down in Luca. And then we'll get going here. Call in Bohemia. Uh, we'll take Florence, probably. Oh, wait, we're broke breaking truce. Really? Uh, I don't know how I missed that in the last time. Yeah, we got six more years, so... Definitely not doing that. Alright, well, who's... I guess F Venice is really the only thing we can go after, then, isn't it? And I'm not convinced that uh, Bohemia is going to be able to take on Poland-Lithuania. I mean, maybe if we took out Venice fast enough. Unless someone would hire us some Kandatiari. That's always a thing. 
Uh, we just got robbed. Because we certainly have a war chest going here. Plenty of money. Alright, so let's put some guys on the border with Venice at least. And then... Do we have... Yeah, we have plenty of boats. Let's go ahead and put them over there. Maybe it's time to uh, to go bold or go home. I just wish I had a little more force limit. So maybe I'll go ahead and build a couple more of these buildings. This will be at what? Basically, we'll just have just shy of 80,000 troops. And that's essentially what Poland Lithuania has. 32,000. Yeah. If we could take out Venice quickly and then get over to support Bohemia, I think we'd be all right. All right, so... Kind of feeling like nothing ventured, nothing gained here. Could be a horrible idea on our part, though. Alright, so we got our ships out in the sea here. If we declare war, we want to take Verona. Call Bohemia in. Yeah, let's do it. And then... Let's pause for a minute. See if anyone will rent us... I guess they have to tell us they'll rent it to us. We have enough money where somebody will likely offer it to us. How many transports do we have? Nine. Okay, so I'll be able to land a fair bit of troops over there. All right, we'll see if Bohemia can keep from getting stomped. And we'll go deal with those guys here in a second. All right, well, they're done, apparently. All right, let's, um... Let's see. Let's move you guys. Can I get... Can I get some love here? Yes. Oh, are you serious? This damnable fort. Alright, Bohemia, just hold on up there, man. As soon as we get this stupid fort down, we'll come and get you. Oh, I wish somebody would give me Kandatiari. I will pay you. Give me some troops. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I guess we could go over our force a little bit. We we do have plenty of money. Um, yeah, I'll grab a couple extra infantry here. We are making quick work of uh, Treviso there. Let's go ahead and get the war goal sieged. Mm hmm. Yeah, the forces are pretty even right now. Alright, we got Verona. Nope, I don't want to do that. Don't want to do that. Man, this is one hell of a war. And France is not doing well. Battle of Istria. Nice try, homie. No, not our agent. Our agent in Hungary. Siege of Treviso is over. Fantastic. <clears throat> okay. 
All right, let's combine you. Go squash some poles. Okay. And we just need to sync these guys up. All right, we got Friuli. Won a battle in the Gulf there. Who else is standing here? Ah, the Platinet. Is somebody else at war with you? No. Platinet's just hanging out for the hell of it? Or do I... Oh, they're in a PU under Bohemia. Okay. Yeah, pulling Lithuania is definitely causing some issues in Bohemia. So as soon as we finish Istria, I'll probably head down there. And I'll let Palatinet hopefully... Uh, in fact, let's tell them to go down there. Alright. Join you guys up. More sunk ships. Alright, let's um, start moving up into northern Austria here. We'll start by... Hmm. I do not want them to siege their capital down. If you want to attack into me, I will allow it. Alright, this is going to be... Oh, not close. Extra land fire damage. Then they attacked into me. They have such low morale in comparison. Wow. Okay, this may not be as bad as we thought. Because that wasn't, that was not a close fight. Where the hell did the Platinet go? Oh, they're down there trying to siege some stuff back. Interesting. Uh, we can get another idea. We can get regiment costs to uh, to go down. Okay, okay. Um, we want to keep this guy. I don't feel like ship durability is enough of a reason to keep him, so we're not going to keep him. Uh, but that does mean we just lost our our really awesome general. Um, that's all right because we got a good siege guy, and that's actually not a bad thing. Um. All right, so let's go ahead and where do we have Genoese separatists? Oh, bummer. Hey, uh, Spain. I don't suppose you'd want to take care of those guys, do you? All right, well, let's at least get some of this stuff siege back down. I really wish I knew where the Platinet ran off to. <laughs> Alright, what do we uh, want? We want Verona for sure. I would like Treviso, but that's going to be a bridge too far. Man, that is a lot. Alright, that's fine. Um, and then, of course, we'll want war reps and we'll want money. Okay. Oh, that's not my siege general. Let's move my siege general over there. There we go. Oh, need to go help my buddy. I don't think I'm going to get there in time, though. Nope, I will not. Well, maybe I would have, but... We'll wait. We got Morava sieged back. That's good. Let's see if we can trap these guys here. Nope, we cannot. They had much better maneuver than we did. I really just want Poland out. Like, if we could... At least get them out of the war, I'd be pretty happy. All right, let's um, see if we can get a fight going here. 
We're heavily outnumbered. Uh, this is going to be close. No, it's not going to be close. We're going to win. It's going to be costly. It's probably the words I should have used. It's going to be very, very costly. But I think we still might lose. And we did. I'm not sure how. And we're going to get stack wiped. And that doesn't seem like it should even be possible. And yet, here we are. I'm losing my great power status. All right, well, let's um, let's do a couple things here. Uh, do I want to lose prestige? No, I don't want national unrest right now. Somebody took care of my rebel problems, which I appreciate. They will not. Oh, they're almost there though. All right, we're just gonna we're just gonna take Verona, and we're gonna get the war reps. We're gonna call it done there. Because I don't want to get too greedy, and I don't want to spend oh, way more manpower than is necessary. Alright, so let's do that. Alright, we got an aspiring victory because we conquered Verona. Awesome. Okay. Uh, wow, that's a lot. It is 22 dev province. Uh, we can upgrade our government rank, which is fun. Gain 10 prestige. Let's do that. We're now a Grand Republic. All right, a whole bunch of crap's happening. Let's uh, let's get some stuff done. We should rely more trade. Create an army. Yep, I'll do that. Because I got to anyway. Uh, estates want control. Um, yeah, I'm kind of okay giving the clergy that one. All right, so if I want to wait and get the, yeah, I want to wait and get the military attack. Gotta wait. All right, so <laughs> we are way below our force limit now since we got stack wiped in a dumb way because for whatever reason our, we only fled one province while our other army fled all the way over here, which still seems ridiculously stupid to me. <laughs> All right, what is costing us money right now? Reinforcements is the biggest thing. So, let's add... Uh, I want to get a few... Well, not a few. I want to get a lot. Get some, uh, get some infantry going. And we are going to go with... Uh, Tercio for now. So let's just go to Milan proper. Actually, I know where you need to go. You need to do that and then go over there. Alright, the rest of you guys go ahead and go to Milan. And then once we do that I will start adding other types of troops here. I want to be careful though, we're already kind of low on manpower. So let's take a look here. What did you do here? Alright, that's a regular regiment. That's what I wanted to make sure. <clears throat> Alright, I get the Diplotech finally. Which is good, because that increases our trade efficiency, which, frankly, gives us a crap ton of money. 23, 26. 25, 94. That is not insignificant. That is significant. We'll get um, some of you, 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 and then some infantry. And then we'll be out of manpower, pretty much. We are out of manpower. All right, well, while we're rebuilding, we were able to take uh, another province from uh, Venice, which is good. We still need Treviso, um, but frankly, getting out of wars that could go south is just a thing I do. 
it does, it's not pretty. It's not. It's not the most sexy thing in the world. But at the end of the day, it is necessary at times. So, if you guys are enjoying the series, please leave a like down below, and more importantly, uh, leave a comment and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, I've been Nems, and if you uh, if you like the series, join us next time. We'll see you later.